is this burning like there's always been? Runette, how's the line, Runette? How's the line, my friend? Are we clear? Because I had to restart a few times. Good. Good. So, Renette, how are you? My hair's just getting longer and longer, dude. It's all your fault. What's well, half my fault, half your fault? I'm putting it on you. Look, if you want me to walk around looking like this, then you just keep doing what you're doing. What's up, Law and Don? He's in Portland, too. Look, we have a little Portland click. We're developing a Portland click right here, y'all. Let's send big ups to everybody in PDX Metro. Big love. Big love going out across the river, across Multnomah. Big love across Multnomah. And Clark. Out to Cowlitz. I don't care. I love them all. Let's get. I bust. You just got a job. You just got a job? Go ahead, man. What, what kind of job you got? What's up, love? Love and happiness. You all right, girl. Live full, die empty. Man, I like your attitude. You're coming strong right now. Okay. Look, we're giving love to Portland right now. My boy got a job. Tell us about your job, man. What you, what's your hustle? Let's get it. I got a job today. Okay, I saw that. I saw that. I'm, I'm kind of down on my job. I need more jobs. What kind of job you got, man? And I'm about to go to Seattle for a couple days, but we'll kick it. You know, the weed's cheaper on this side, bruh. And the store is open for another 20 minutes. And so is my front door. For a while. Love, where are you at wrapping all them hearts like you're made out of love? Come on. You know, all the hearts are for the healing of the nations. The end of every curse. Anybody on YouTube right now should check out the Periscope, man. That's where it's really at. That's where it's really going down. Love's going to tell us about herself. Yeah, and Callie, go ahead, girl. You work at the city cleaning homeless camps. And has Okay, he cleans homeless camp and hazardous waste. But don't spray. I just saw a Portland, uh, a Portland police officer got arrested for spraying homeless, men's, homeless people's bottles down, their water bottles down with pepper spray. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. And I want you I want you to be a voice and a light for decent culture. Let me tell you, are you so you're working like with the city. You're working with the city. That's good, man. That's good. I want you to be a light. for for Because you're repping us, man. You're repping us as an employee of the city, man. We need you to go out there and, and, and serve the public with that love, man. That's what we're looking for. I know you're going to try your best, man. From the second you came here, I said, this is a good man right here. It's a good man. So, he's ready. He says he's ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, man, I recommend don't piss in a cup for that job. Did we go into that? Don't piss in a cup. But I, I saw Cali, too. I saw you down there in Cali. What part of Cali? You're welcome up here. Look, I got my front door open. Open to you. Open to each of you, each of you gathered. Oxnard, I don't know where the hell is Oxnard, dude. What's that near? What part of the state is that? I went to Marin County once. I went to, uh, I went to, uh, San Francisco once. I went to LA once. I drove through the state. I drove through that slaughterhouse ass stretch of I 10. Or I-5, one hour from L.A. Okay, cool, cool. You know the slaughterhouse stretch south of L.A.? It's like fucking 40 miles of the stench of death. You took one of those drinks. Oh, you took a cannabis drink? You better, you better slow your roll, boy. Oh, you took, oh, you took a, a detox drink. Oh, man, if they ever want you to piss in a cup again, don't even lie about it. Come to your boy, and I'll write you a letter to where you ain't gonna have to piss in a cup, bruh. And if they try to make you still piss, piss in the cup, you just gonna get paid. You heard me? We all gonna get paid. Never piss in the cup. Everybody right here in my hearing, all three of you guys, never piss in a cup. 
You come to your boy, I'll write you a letter, I'll talk to your employer, I'll tell him why it ain't happening. And I'll tell him that if he wants to know what's in your system, it's weed. And that's that. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's like that, y'all. It's like that. But look, let's smoke something, eh? Oh, wait. Let's honor this slug. Let's honor this slug. You got it? Let's honor this slug right there. I just want to honor that slug, y'all. There he is. Now we got him. Okay. Thank you for honoring that slug with me. You do look good. Both of you ladies look good. This is just like Brother Dink used to do. You love my energy? Why you don't come around more? This is what I this is what I do all this is the energy that I put out. Hey, y'all remember when Brother Dang used to walk around the dank and just walk around like up the stairs, down the stairs? Y'all don't remember that. I remember that. This is the one I put out, yo. This is it. Okay. If you want to support this vibe, you guys, if you want to, there is a PayPal me link. Um, and there's an email address, and for real, book a session. I don't care if you donate or not. Like, um, you can always book a session, and we'll talk about it. I talked to this girl last night. She had a, she had noises in her attic. She was scared. I said, hold on, hold on a sec. Call Brother Dane. And she did, and it helped, you know what I'm saying? So people got all sorts of problems, whether it's relationship, whether it's like spiritual development, whether it's ghosts in the attic, whether it's gang stalking, I'll lend you my understanding. I'll, I'll give you that. Raccoons, he said, most likely raccoons, huh? Hmm, could be. Could be everybody at the house she was, I think there's some spooks, some spooky ghosts. I was like, man. You can find out what's making that noise. You can. You know what I'm saying? Put a camera up there. If you don't see nothing on the regular, if you don't see raccoons, then you put some different cameras up there and see what else is going on. You know what I'm saying? There's a camera that will let you know. There's technology that will capture whatever it is in the attic, you guys. Believe it. It's much easier to see UFOs with night vision goggles if you guys know that. But pretty much they look like stars a lot of times if you can check them out. But all this UFO shit, it's bullshit, man. I just want to say, everybody who's, everybody who's seen the lights in the sky and who was impressed, you guys, I'm not that fucking impressed, you guys. All I saw was drones with lights on them that can probably shoot a hologram by this year and I'm not that fucking impressed with all the little spooky fucking things going on. I don't fucking buy it. Hmm? And maybe there is like other intelligence that's just going on. Going on. But what I'm seeing out here, what I'm seeing out here has some human beings behind it, most of it. How so? Okay, well like, you see, what I've seen is like, basically it looks like a drone. It looks like just a, a thing in the sky. Yeah, many made. Artificial of some type. And it looks like it, it just parks like it's a star. It'll park there and just sit there. And then it might shine the light at you and this light will get like like heavy at you and shit. And then it might kind of stop shining at you. And then it'll just boop, dart off. It'll just boop, dart, dart off like that. That's all they fucking do that I've seen. 
Now, other people say they'll like disappear and, or like get big and, and that shit goes on. But, you know, human beings are behind a lot of this shit, man. And the little the shit in the sky that people see is like looks like a star and it shines bright like a star. And it's not a star. It's a fucking drone, obviously, you know. And it's nothing good. It's nothing good. It's just a surveillance harassment drone is all you're looking at most times. And look, man, those drones have some fucking weapons on them. Civilians are exposed to military-grade fucking weaponry out here. In the name of whatever. But if you feel that you got a problem with some uh, with some illegal harassment and shit, and it's just getting a little out of control, I've been there. I can say that much. I've been there. It's nothing fucking good. But you'll probably survive. They'll probably back off for a bit. And when you have a second to breathe, hit up your boy. Learn something new each time. Isn't that something, man? Isn't that something? Hey, bro, I'm on full disclosure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hoard no information. I'm trying to share what I've seen. Um, The good and the bad, because I'm not giving nobody no excuse. Portland could be a really great place if I wasn't gang stalked since I got here. So, that's how I feel. And still, in the midst of that, I've been trying to be brother fucking dank and bring out the love singularity and canopies across the city. And that's probably why I got all the heat, because they, maybe, maybe that's, maybe it's just trying to distract me so I don't do that. Portland is weird, it's too divided. Man, some segregated shit, huh? Isn't that disgusting? Divided on racial lines. I mean, what year is it? Need to, need to get a reading from me soon. Okay. Okay. Everybody needs a reading, right? Okay. So what we'll do, Ronette... Fuck. HC for reading. What's that mean? Yes, she says. Okay. I've actually got a friend I have to help out in Portland on tomorrow. Haircut. Okay. I've got a friend I got to help out in Portland... Uh, tomorrow or so... What are you doing tomorrow night? May listen to a friend play music. Cool. Fuck, still do it. Okay. Well... If you want to kick it after I get out of work, because Friday morning I'm going to Seattle, I think. And um, if you want to kick it after work, we could probably do that, because I have to come to Portland. But I don't have the best way to get to Portland, um, unless I try met, and that's going to take fucking forever after work. So just think about tomorrow. Um, if you need weed, if you need weed, that'd be a great excuse to uh, come to this side. But if not, it won't be until maybe Sunday or so. Text me after this. Okay, cool. We'll figure that out. But I got to go help my friend. You do need to get some weed. Okay, well, if you come through to get some weed, that would be perfect. Do you see? That would just be perfect. And actually, my friend is who taught me, the friend I'm going to see is who taught me Reiki. So it'd be a good person to meet even. Okay, but what time's your friend playing too? What time's your friend playing music? What's up, Pharrells? You guys, this is good people in here right now. This one, this is a classic one. In the evening? Okay. What strain do I have? I think it's Gorilla Glue. You see, in the evening, I get out of work at 7. That's already getting to be the evening. But, I probably don't work on Friday. And so, it's open. It's open evening. So cool. That's good. I'll finally get a haircut. You'll finally get some Reiki and a reading. Honestly, I'll probably do the, um, I'll probably give you a reading, but if Sadna's around, I'll let her do the Reiki if she wants to. You know, I'll totally do it, but like, I'm helping her out. You're helping me out. She'll help you out. It could be like that. Reiki is spelled R-E-I-K-I. And it is a, uh, like a Japanese 
energy school, basically. It's the School of Energy Medicine. And Reiki is said to be the original life force frequency energies, okay? So, like, whenever you're born, whenever you're born, like, uh, you're in a certain frequency, and then you kind of fall out of that as you deal with life, take on take on trauma and stress and all this. And so what Reiki does is attune you back to your, your highest, best, desirous frequencies. And it does a particular electromagnetic thing in science. It does. It is recordable. The effects are real. And what it did for me was, new moon, is it new moon tonight or tomorrow? Man, this last new moon was like, whoo, flew by. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good, this last new moon. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. Okay, tomorrow, okay. That's cool. Okay, so here's the other thing. Um, Reiki can also be done from a distance, but I'm not attuned on that level. Although, um, <laughs> although I have broken it out on a, on a distant level, they, it is also in the research that you're more powerful with an attunement. That's been documented for what that's worth. That might not go for all people. I will give a Reiki blessing. Uh, for each one gathered, what we're breaking out is uh, clearing the space. Okay, so let's clear the space, you guys. Let's clear our space. Clear the space out. So we will do grounding. Grounding. bring in the master power tools. Also give the emotional healing. I'm assuming you guys are getting something from this. How's everybody doing so far? It is like realignment of the spirit. It is. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop translating for a second. Was that did that help anybody at all? Just kind of setting it up to start this in calm. That's cool. <sighs> Y'all cool with me? Cause I could feel some chills. We'll keep going with it. You guys just keep right breathing, and I'll transmit a little bit more. But just be be comfortable. chakras If you guys felt something from that, you might want to drink some water. But I, honestly, I don't know how my distance is. But we can come back if you were gone somewhere. Did, did you guys experience anything in particular? Calming is usually what it does. Sometimes people fall asleep. Um, or different things can happen. Okay, cool. Well, what I did was just, I just brought out the basic energies, and I applied them to each chakra, and tried to kind of clear that through a little bit. it liked it okay you'll probably get have a good experience then and tomorrow um i need to get more reiki yet actually so um so lawn to dawn let me know run it let me know i know my hair huh so I still have to look like a, a radical dude when I go to Seattle. So think about that. I still have to look like a radical dude.
Don't you just want to style all the hair that I have? That's what I'm saying, huh? We should, huh? I'm just going to have fun tomorrow. <laughs> ESP, that happens. When you first started at the hairs of my arms are sticking up, and now I'm relaxed. Whoa. Now I'm relaxed. You're back relaxed. Okay, good. It can bring that calm, right? That's good, you guys. That's great feedback. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um... So yeah, love, where you been though? Look, you see, everybody's being a great, a great uh, participant right now. I want to see more of love. I want to see more love. I'm just trying to keep everybody on point, love, because I saw you here a long time ago, and now I don't see you as much as you should be around. You know? What about the beard? What about it? Honestly, I look pretty good with long hair and a short beard. And it is time for a summertime cut. My last haircut didn't go that great. So, I'm looking forward to it. Um, keep a version of the beard. Well, yeah, dude. I'm not going to lose the whole beard. I'm not going to go around here baby face. Come on. I'm a grown ass man. Oh, Dante, he's going to relax you. <laughs> um, Dude, I don't know anything special, you guys. I just I only share, like, some obvious shit that everybody's supposed to know by now. You guys, you guys are hip. You guys are hip, man. I don't know a whole lot of different things that I haven't told you already. I'm pretty much all the way out there, like, spent up, like, exposed and, and open. I'm all spin up, dude. Nah, dude. I could, I could, I could, I can uh, share this word for all eternity, dude. I think I was born too. I was born too. Y'all too? Aight. Hey, G Chat. Knock, chew. That's like a Jeff Foxworthy joke from the 90s. You guys, I want to tell you guys a joke from the Jeff Foxworthy. You might be a redneck if video that I only know because it was on the commercial. You guys want to hear the joke that was on the commercial? Do you guys want to hear a really bad joke from the 90s? Are you ready? It's Jeff Foxworthy, man. He's a comedic giant. You guys know, are you smarter than a fourth grader? Let me tell you where, are you smarter than a fifth or third grader? Let me tell you where that started. Jeff Foxworth. <laughs> Jeff Foxworth. He's got the mustache. He's a redhead. He's got the accent. He's one of those old boys. Jeff Foxworth. He came out in the 90s with some relatively clean, relatively family-friendly humor that that rural, simple, honest, hard-working American just fucking... Sat in front of for a while and enjoyed. And what he said was, what he said in the commercial for his videotape, you might be a redneck if, which was the title of his tour, which is kind of what he went with for a while. You might, you know, rednecks? Well, I guess you might, let's say you might be a redneck. You might be a redneck if something outrageous going on is sound really backwater. and You might be a redneck if you're living in a van down by the river type shit. But this one thing, as he was elaborating, as he was elaborating, Jeff Foxworthy, what he said was, uh, you know, Southerners, they have their own words, man. They have their own words. It's pretty bad. I'm only, I'm only saying this because it's fucking ridiculous. He said, Southerners have their own words. And it goes like this. Like, y'all to. Y'all to. What does that mean? It means you want to, as in a question, but y'all to. Y'all to? You know? And what he says is like, um, this is a typical conversation in the South. You might be a redneck if you overhear this. What's up, Malevolent Ohio? You might be a redneck if you overhear this. It's from the commercial. He said, Hey, G Chat. Knock two. Y'all two. I. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy, you guys. Good morning. Good morning, Malevolent Ohio. Ohio, like, um, Cleveland. 
Cleveland and Toledo and Stowe and Cuyahoga. Hey, oh, way to go, Ohio. Do, 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 do. You guys know that song? Hold on a second. Do y'all know that song? Hold on a second, you guys. Do y'all know that song? Oh, do you guys not know that song? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Don't know this song? Y'all know it yet? Anyway, it goes like this. I went back to Ohio. city was gone There were no train stations There was no downtown A-O way to go Ohio Anyway, I will bless Howard's tune, but y'all know that song? Way to go Ohio? I will bless Howard's tune. I kind of know. Hello, I know there's someone out there. Where is it? Hello, I know there's some. Oh, it's like this. Hello, I know. Or is it A? Hello, hello, I know there's someone out there who can understand. Wasn't meant to be Cause all has been lost And all has been won And there's nothing left for us to say We could be together as they blow it all away And we can share in every moment as it breaks so call me now it's all right it's just the end of the world you'll need a friend in the world because you can't hide so call now get right back if your intentions are pure i'm seeking a friend for the end of the world I've got a photograph I'll send it off today You can see that I am perfectly sane Not for a lifetime or forever and a day Because we know now that just won't be the case been 
just the end, the end of the world. You'll need a friend in the world, cause you can't hide. So calm down, get right back. If your intentions are pure, I'm seeking a friend for the end of the world. No little secrets to keep. No little children nor houses with roses is the end of the world for me. Cause all has been lost and anyway, I should have started with some bread. It just makes me want to go there. Oh, oh, I know what the one is. The one is that one, and then there's um. You like Sweet Home Alabama? That's Freebird. How's Sweet Home Alabama go? Now that's uh, Take the Money and Run. How's Sweet Home Alabama start? What's the first words? This guy really wants to hear Sweet Home Alabama, huh? Where our skies are so blue. Okay, you don't want to hear Sweet Home Alabama. Okay, that's fine. You don't want to hear it. God, this other one I was about to jam, dude. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Um, how'd you go? Oh, yeah. time to share it. Ever the other half, half smile, son of the mother of long night, brothers and madmen, the soul of a simple man, the soul of a beer can.
Children must rest their tired eyes. All I've got to do is die. Move down upon me slow, and I will follow. All I've got. Against these pale lips, as cold as snowfall. All I've got to do is die. I know someday you'll rest your face against my gravestone. Just why to no reply? All I've got to do is die. When you're gone, where will you be? When you're gone, where will you be? Be
Okay, I got one more for you. Oh, the Snapchat is what that is. Add Brother Bank on Snapchat, everybody. This is one of them. If we live in a world without tears, how would bruises find the face to lie upon? How would scars find the skin? Wedge themselves into how would bullets find the gun if we live in a world without tears? How would heartbeats know? Stop. How would blood know which body to spill outside of? How would trouble?
Timmy. Timmy, I was just going to take a break. I was just going to take a break to check my text messages. But for reals here too, what? Are you an apostle? I am. Duh. You didn't know that? Dude, you didn't know that? McFoley, I saw that comment. I didn't know what that meant, though. Oh, the wrestler, right. He did say that. <coughs> okay, we have one more song. I've got one more song in there. Mankind. Oh, oh, I know him. I thought it was Mick Foley. Wasn't he Mick Foley for a while? No more singing. He said no more singing. But I had a song I wanted to sing for love. Okay, I'll just play it on the track. You want to pray for mankind? Oh, he's, he's ill? All right, let's pray for mankind. Mankind, you are loved and adored by many. All right, pray for mankind, the entertainer. Oh, pray for us? I thought mankind was in trouble. I get it now. I get it now. Mankind, pray for us. Okay, here's the thing. I thought Mick Foley was in trouble. He's not. You're saying I look like him. But let me pray for all mankind. Let me say, mankind, you got it. Just go with your natural inclination of divinity. You totally got it. Come on, man. What's all this about? I'm confused now, dude. do to help people timmy you've been following me are you saying you're just finding out how i help people right now are you saying did you just find out me like that i'm here to help you don't have to be a nasty attitude but you have to be a little bit patient you're going through a hard time timmy for real dude are you being serious let me stop everything you don't have to be an asshole dude you don't have to be it's discouraged around here man But can you play harmonics on your acoustic guitar? Can you? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Have you have you, could you play harmonics on your acoustic guitar since you were 13? Like every note, just looking it. right here you can't do that can you you can't go you can't do that shit you can't do that you don't even know what i'm doing that's so heavy dude it's so heavy dude like this is what happens whenever you plug it into like uh, uh whenever you plug it into the uh amplification the shit squeals goes it goes while it's playing smooth notes like it goes like but you're also going like you're also going like I don't know if you can hear that. You hear all those harmonics going on? It makes you, it makes everybody freak out. You can hear it. Okay. Okay, that's why that's why I'm cool, buddy. That's why I'm cool, buddy. It's not no ukulele. I was just playing guitar for a second. You're coming here talking a bunch of smack. Come on, man. 
come on, man. I'm sorry I couldn't give you my 100% undivided attention and help until you told me hashtag help, and then I started considering doing that, okay? I'm a reasonable fella, man. It's fun to troll. Okay, because you didn't need help. You just wanted to troll around. But you really do need help because your um, your energy is kind of like I. It's kind of like I. I don't think anybody's loving it yet except for you. And I see you working through it, man. I see you working through it. You're like, I'm trolling. I'm not trolling. I'm actually whatever, whatever. And that's fine, Timmy. You have the space to do that sort of thing here, dude. I give you that. You know what I'm saying? See what I see how you're not fully comfortable, man. Just relax, Timmy. Just relax, dude. You missed the you missed the Reiki session, dude. You missed it. You need some. Hang on, sit tight. Let me take a break. I mean, does Timmy need some Reiki? She put it in a jar. She put it in a cup. She put it in a bowl. She put it on a plate. She put it in there. She put it on there. Okay. Here's the deal, Timmy. Timmy, you love me. Just stop it. Love, you love everything. You're made out of love. For real, man, you're a hacky sack monster, man. Would you please make some more hacky sack videos for the world to appreciate? I can't get enough of your hacky sack videos, dude. Will you, will you pull some tricks out, dude? Will you keep pulling tricks out and recording them? What does that mean? You don't know what hacky sack is, man? Timmy, how old are you, bro? Do you even lift, bro? He knows what hacky sack is. Okay. I just spanned about three decades, man. You guys gotta give me props for that. But you don't make hacky sack videos. Why not, dude? Why not, man? Why wouldn't you want to share that art? With the world, that's beautiful movement, dude. You you have to know. You have to know, dude. It's beautiful movement. You don't own one. Well, all you have to do, dude. They're they're inexpensive, dude. You can probably get like three hacky sacks for a dollar from certain markets. And I encourage you to do so because then you can practice your craft, man. You don't want one, dude. Watch this dude's hacky sack videos, and then you'll understand. You just haven't seen the videos. This guy hasn't even seen the videos, dude. <laughs> you haven't even seen them. Um, probably. At this very moment, I'm not being especially harassed and suffered by you, Timmy. Good question. No, I can take, I can take a periscope harassment, it's fine. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as other things folks could cook up. And I give love to everybody. Dude, whatever, dude. I give love to all my targeteers. Who doesn't have everybody's DNA, dude? Fucking uh, walk around. Oh, do you, Timmy? Do you, Timmy? From the DA dismissal. What are you talking about? This guy says he's got information. Whatever, Timmy. Why is everybody come sideways? You're cloning me. Dude, come straight out with that. You better clone my ass, dummy. Yeah, I know. I know how that goes, but what you do, you should need to put me in charge of that army. Whatever, Timmy. Dude. You think you're being cool with that, too. I think you're being cool with that, but what I'm saying is let me borrow the computer. 
Let me borrow the computer, dummy. Don't give yourself a headache. I can handle it. Do you hear what I'm saying? I can handle it. The computer that fucking clones myself and gives me an army of righteous people, dude. I can handle it. Put me in charge of the technology, guys. Just give up. Just fucking go take a nap. I'll fix all the shit while you're asleep. I'm for real, Timmy. I'll fix it while you're sleeping. Feed you knowledge. <laughs> Dude, the Bible says, eat that. Eat the little scrolls. Eat the little scrolls, man. Go eat the little scrolls, man. You thirsty for knowledge? That sounds biblical to me. Be satiated. You need me to fix me. Well, shit. Shit, Timmy. You don't need a piece of me. Okay, let me listen to what you need. Let's go. Listen to what I need. Oh, you're oh you're telling me what I need. Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy. Go ahead. Go ahead once more. Oh, you're asking. Okay. Timmy, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will. Timmy as Beast has asked what he needs. Timmy, you don't need anything complicated, man. You don't need anything unreachable. You don't need anything crazy. All you need, bro, is to take a few breaths. Look around. Are you in mortal danger? If you're not in mortal danger, everything's probably pretty much all right. Timmy. So what you need... Do it, then what you need to do is know that you're safe for a second, so take a breath. Take a breath, Timmy, and I'll bless each one, dude. Each one that passes. And if you gotta be labored about your breath, fine, but get that out. Can I ask something? Go ahead. bad around you well not spirits or entities I would say more like attachments and not not a spiritual entity attachment hey Fiona these are real questions here's what you have man you have an you have an attachment to familiarity you have an, and your only problem dude is inside you it's nothing outside of you it's not an entanglement thing I'm great, Fiona. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Bro, what you have is problems that are internal. And I'm telling you how to solve them. <sighs> okay. Attachments. You have attachments to, like, mind states, our cycles, our feelings. It's not necessarily something that you want to be attached to. All right? It's, like, maybe negative feelings, anxious feelings. You have attachments to those cycles. It's a mental, physical, bodily emotional cycle that people can get caught up in sometimes called negativity or whatever and um, our anxiousness and really what you need to do is whenever you go there inside and you feel that way consciously replace that experience with something positive so actually physically uh, mentally go into a different mind state where you feel better where things are cool And you can develop new neural pathways. Another thing you can do is if you get, like, freaked out or whatever, you can use aromatherapies to correlate that aroma with good feelings and you spend some time making that aroma that feeling. And a so like a, you take some peppermint oil, say, or some rose oil, something that smells good to you. And you meditate with that oil and you, you meditate on that aroma and you associate that aroma, whenever you smell this, it's going to physically change your brain, okay? And so as it does so, you wanna input good things. You know, you wanna physically change your brain to where that chemical is associated with good things. So then when you freak out, you can use the aromatherapy 
and you bring that in and then you go to the happy place. Does that help? Is that a good idea or what? Okay, what's up Swedish Ninja? Yeah, I am. You're just humoring me and all that. What's up, dude? I'm chilling, but I'm giving good idea. I'm giving good advice. I'm spitting good stuff, regardless. Regardless, Swedish Ninja, we're chilling, dude. We're chilling, and I'm about to even. That was a good dude. I got not, only good ideas, dude. I only got good advice. I only got help. No, you can't have a kiss. No, you can't have a kiss. Ah, uh, cool. Yes, it is cool, man. You can have a kiss, Timmy. You can have a kiss. I give you, I give you a kiss in your, in your mind. It's given. It's given. It's not like a French kiss or anything either. It's just a kiss and a pat on the head and say, "Hang in there, buddy." Kiss on the cheek. Well, I got a t something to talk about. Good, good. I'm here to talk about it. You guys, Swedish Ninja has something to talk about. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Timmy wants a full-on kiss on his lips. Man, come on, dude. I'm not. I'm not. I can't provide that one. I can't provide everything that you need, dude. Apparently. But you maybe don't need that, really. Dude, I gave you. I gave you a psychic, loving kiss and pat on the head, dude. That was help. You just didn't receive it. You just didn't receive it, man. Don't blame me for your shutting off what I'm offering. Closing yourself off to the gift, dude. That's all. That's your. That's on you. Swedish Ninja, what you got? Have you ever heard about the crazy suicide game called the Blue Whale Challenge? No, man. I gave you a kiss, man. Um, tell me about the Blue Whale Challenge or whatever. It sounds horrible. Obviously. I have a no-block policy, Timmy. You came up with one or two decent comments this whole time. Swedish just telling that's all right, you can keep typing and we can keep, you know, taking what you're doing into account. I'm trying to hear about what this thing is though. It created in Russia and Central Asia and now in South America and Europe. Okay. And it's, I don't really want to know the details. Is it a game where people kill themselves? Okay. And it's spread like wildfire, like it's very popular. It's disgusting, dude. What is it, satanic ritual of some type? It's disgusting. Does someone get, do you get money for it or something? It's disgusting, dude. That's what I think about it. Fire burn that bullshit. Fire burn that fuckery. Fire burn death games. Fire burn population fucking control. Pop fire burn, uh, fire burn imposing your shit on somebody that's garbage. Fire burn your garbage. It's not for the people. There are 50 tasks to complete. Last task is to jump off a high building. This shit's stupid, man. Everybody's playing games in life. I saw a movie like that. There's a lot of stuff like that that goes on, man. Believe that society will have programs that want you to do that sort of thing. You guys stay strong, man, and don't... Okay, what I'll say about that is, um... 
how 150 teenagers did 50 things and the last one kill yourself and everybody knows and no one stopped that teenager. How do we get so isolated? Who would want that? I don't want that. I don't want anybody to ever be that isolated either. I don't want anybody to be that sick. That, um, I'm not even going to look at it. It's horrible. I renounced all that. I renounced that, my bro. Okay, this has been a long broadcast. I'm going to log in on YouTube. Thanks for uh, getting through this if you're on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to this channel, obviously. Bankministries at gmail.com. And uh, PayPal me. PayPal.me. Backslash Brother Bank. Um, I mean, we got into everything. This was definitely a successful broadcast. And uh, I'll probably be back up later. Follow me across your preferred social as well. At Brother Dank. And um, stay up. Be good, do right, and fear no man. Keep your eye on the prize.